It's Friday again. Hi, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. If this is your first time here, I hope you stick around for a while. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that if I ever go live or anything, you'll, you'll get notification of it. Um, if you've been here for a while, let's keep going down the journey and having a good time. So tonight, well today this afternoon actually, my oldest son came in. We went out to lunch and we went to Sam's. I hadn't seen him in a long time, so it was really nice to spend some time with him. Our oldest son, Nate, he's coming over tonight for dinner. I asked him, what do you want? And he goes, something somewhat healthy, because he's our healthy eater. So, I decided I got a, we went to Sam's today, so I got me a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to cut all that out nice, and I'm going to roast some vegetables, so that'll be dinner tonight. But I thought, well, got to have a dessert. So I found a healthy apple crisp. So that's what we're going to make. Never made an apple crisp before, so this will be new. All of us are doing it together. So, I mean, just to see you can see, I can't figure out how I got the camera to do what it did the other day. Well, it's not doing it now, so. <laughs> All right, so we need four cups of apples, which I already peeled and sliced up. We need a tablespoon of... Um, coconut oil but it says you can use any oil I don't have I do have coconut but I'm not gonna sit there and mess with it today I'm not so we need a tablespoon of oil oh shoot then I grabbed the wrong oil I didn't want the vegetable <laughs> well we'll use the vegetable so the other one's stuck me back there all right so we'll use a tablespoon of vegetable oil And then we need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You know, I've always wanted to do a crisp, but I never have. So, this actually will be my first time, and if it's great, then I can do it again. So, we got our half teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we need a quarter teaspoon of ginger. So, hopefully you guys have had a fantastic week. I don't know if Tom has to work this weekend or not, so sometimes this factory doesn't tell him to the last minute. So we're going to mix all this together. Get our apples nice and coated. And finally getting some of those apples used up that we were gifted, so... Alrighty, that looks yummy. I love it when they turn brown and not because I left them out too long. They're pretty. All right, so now we're gonna spray the bottom of the eight by eight pan. And I already have my oven preheated to 350. <laughs> and then we're going to pour the apples on the bottom. Make sure we get all that goodness out of there. Ooh, yummy. It looks so yummy. I'm going to sit it right there. All right. Now for the topping, we want a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm sorry, of cinnamon. I don't know why I always call it vanilla. Of cinnamon quarter teaspoon of ginger and then you want a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg oh I love that smell it smells so yummy it smells like Christmas actually is what that smells like. All right, now I'm gonna whisk that together a little bit. Not that there's a whole lot to whisk there, but. 
and then it's asking for a cup of oatmeal. It asks for old fashioned, which I just have plain oatmeal. Do you guys look at my new measuring cup? It's actually antique. I got it last week at the auction. She's going to get a lot of love too. <coughs> and then we're going to use a third cup of pecans. Two tablespoons of oil. We want a tablespoon of maple syrup. I know I was like, there's no brown sugar or anything in that. That can't be possible. And then I seen that there was maple syrup in it. Then I understood. Because actually I started cooking with maple syrup and um, honey not too long ago. And it really, it really, really does you know, put a lot of taste in there and it makes it sweet. So then you're gonna mix all this together. Make sure you get all those spices from the bottom. Yep, I got stuff on the floor. <laughs> I'll have to sweep my own floor today. Jack's not here. That looks very yummy actually. And then we're going to pour it over the top of the apples. Now that I've made it, you guys, I feel so stupid that I've never made it before. Because <laughs> it is pretty simple. Alright, so now you're going to cover this and bake it for 20 minutes. Once that 20 minutes is up, you're going to uncover it and let it cook for another 10 minutes. So I will be back when it's finished. Alrighty, we're back. And this is the healthy... Here, let me bring my camera right down to it. Doesn't that look yummy? That's the he healthy apple crisp. And I took my spoon of full out just a second ago. So hopefully it's cool enough for me to eat. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That, my friends, is a winner. It's not as um compacted as other crisps that I've had. But that's because we're not adding butter and all that good stuff. It's a healthy crisp. So, hopefully he likes it. You guys have a very blessed day and be a blessing to someone else.